I'm gonna hope that that's in focus. I hope you also can't hear the birds chirping outside. But that's fine. My lips are chapped. I'm talking to myself. <sighs> Hello everybody, Tristan Universe here, and welcome to another unboxing video. This unboxing video is going to be a tad bit short, but I still wanted to give you guys this because I think it's pretty cool. So, as some of you may know, Nino Kuni 2 came out recently, and uh, I'm really pumped. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I got this, which is the uh, premium edition. So it's not like the super big limited edition, which was 200 something dollars, I think it was $200. And that was a lot, so... We have this version, uh, that's why this video is gonna be shorter. Anyway, if we're being honest, I already wanted to play the game. I'm recording this a couple days after the game came out, and I just wanted to play the game. So, I've already opened the box, however, I didn't look at any of the stuff, I just grabbed the game out and opened that, and popped it in, and then I've been playing it nonstop. So, you know. Yes. So here's the box. It's a standard, standard box. Standard box. Let's open this up and see what's inside, though. if I can ever get anything out of boxes. So to start off, here's the game. The game itself. Uh, I know that the game comes with, on the front, it says, includes special sword set plus exclusive dragon's tooth sword. So that's what it comes with. It comes with like DLC and stuff. So that's pretty rad. Let's set that over there. And then it comes with three other things. The first thing is this which I'm not going to try and build. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> okay. So this thing, uh, it's a paper craft diorama, and uh, you build it, essentially. But it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to focus on that. Probably not. But it's like the... When the game starts up, it has like this one scene on it, and it's like the main prince looking over like his kingdom or whatever so it's it's that and it's all like 3d you build it and stuff but you build it and then you get this cute little 3d diorama thingy so that's rad i guess i don't know i haven't seen this come out in a in a in a limited edition before uh i mean i'm relatively new to limited edition so i'm sure it has but i haven't seen it before so it's pretty rad the next thing that we get is this hard case uh, which I think is really cool that it comes with this, uh, yes. So it's like that on the front. And it has all three of them on the back. And when you open this up, you get, uh, the music CD collection. Uh, so you get the CD, the soundtrack. Um, and on the inside it has, uh, the, the overworld map, so that's pretty cool. And then you put, like, the game right there if you want to keep it in the hard case, but, you know, I think that's pretty cool. I like, uh... I have, like, mixed feelings about hard cases. I should not have kept my window open. Uh, I have mixed feelings about hard cases because, like, one, they look really cool, but then they don't match with anything else. And I guess, like, they're the same size, so, like, that's cool, but they still, like, don't necessarily match, and they kind of look weird when you have a bunch of, like, games lined up, and then all of a sudden there's, like, one hard case. But other than that, I think they're cool if you want to display or just even as a collectible. So that's all that really came in it. Um, once again, it's the premium edition, not the limited edition or whatever, so it's kind of small, but it's still pretty cool. And as I said, this video was going to be kind of short, but I guess I can talk about, like, how I feel about the game so far. I'm about five hours in, and I'm not really going to spoil anything. My one complaint, I guess, about it would be that I, I mean, I played the first one, naturally, and we had, like, we got, like, those, like, beautiful, like, Studio Ghibli cutscenes where it, like, literally just looked like it was, came, like, it came out of a movie. And this one doesn't have that. They have cutscenes, of course, but they're just in the same, like, animation style as the game. Like, it just looks like a cutscene in a game. Like, it doesn't look like, like an anime or a movie or anything like that. And I think that was one thing that made Nino Kuni, the first one, really special and, like, really stick in my head was because of those. Because I love Studio Ghibli naturally, and so I really just loved that it had those cutscenes, uh, and so I'm slightly disappointed that this one doesn't, because I feel like it's gonna be less memorable, at least for me, solely f based on that. 
Other than that, I like the battle system way better in this game um, compared to the first one. I like, I don't know, I like beat em up kind of things or like, you know, like button smashers and stuff like that. Uh, so I like playing RPGs that are like that. So I really like that about this game. Uh, those are like my two things so far. Once again, I'm not that far in. I just, I'm about five hours in and that's not super far. Uh, it seems pretty easy to kind of, like, I feel like there, you don't get to choose the difficulty, I don't think. Maybe you can in the settings, but I didn't really check that. Usually you're asked in the beginning, and I didn't get asked that, so I assume you can't. And I think it's kind of straightforward and easy so far. But the difficulty could ramp up. I could just be overleveled because I like to grind a lot, but I don't know, so we'll see. So I hope you guys liked this video, even though it was shorter. Um, I did get this in the mail, and I figured that it would be good to just do like a tiny unboxing about it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below stating what you would like to see next, uh, what I can improve on, all that stuff. I'm always asking for constructive criticism. Um, I'm always asking for constructive criticism. So, also, be sure... Uh, and be sure to subscribe. Uh, I put out videos uh, every once in a while, so, you know, that's cool. <laughs> Come join me on this adventure that I'm on, my YouTube adventure. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.